Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the third week of uh, June read. Start from the 15th through the 21st of June 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of um, Aquarius. So let's see how uh, the third week of uh, June is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. I will be adding messages from your person and oracle cards on this reading. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you. It is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that are offered as well in the description box. So let's see. Aquarius, what is coming up for you for this week time? Let's dive into the read and let's find out. What can you expect? Four of Cups. Two swords, the artist. Wow, I really do see that um, you are really, really, really trying to manifest um, somebody in your life right now. I do see you having options. Um, I really do see you have uh, having choices to make. Uh, but at the same time, there is a specific thing, there is a specific job, there is a specific someone that you really want to manifest. Now, since you are having other offers, other opportunities to move on with, uh, be that in love or work, I really see you confused. You really feel like, you know, I don't know, shall I accept the one that I've, uh, you know, I have right now or shall I continue manifesting till I get what you want? So it's just more of that energy where you're like indecisive, you're feeling tempted to accept an offer uh even though it's not what you wanted but maybe it's closer to that so you are not sure shall i take it shall i not you are going to be indecisive around it i feel like you know it can be again it can be something in your love life it can be something in your work life situation as well um but i feel like you know you you will feel like you know it has at least maybe 80 percent of what you wanted like you know even if it's a love life situation you might meet somebody who's uh offering you something which uh, which is committed which is uh, beautiful but at the same time it's not coming from a person that you wanted so you are going to be like um shall i move on with this person or shall i just wait for my person so you will be having that moment here where you're going to feel like you know maybe you need to wait um till till you have what you want or you shall take it like you know there will be indecisiveness coming up for you for this week time you will be confused because uh you would not know what is the right thing for you to do now i would suggest you to do one thing before falling asleep before falling asleep at night i would suggest you to pray for you make and choose the right decision for yourself you make the right choice for yourself when you pray for that, whatever offer you are ready to accept, go ahead with that with a firm faith that God has basically, uh, you know, um, shown you the spot to take that choice and you are ready to move forward with it. Be that leaving that current offer and uh, manifesting the previous one desire that you had or be that uh, manifesting the, uh, you know, uh, previous desire and you know ignoring the current offer as well like whatever it is going to be just go with the firm faith that divine has taken care of it so you shall be like you know uh feeling confident in your choice rather than getting upset rather than getting indecisive and delaying things for yourself and keeping yourself hanging in there it's very important for you to make that choice and then stick to that choice so i feel like you know there is some sort of offer coming your way which is going to confuse you which is going to tempt you to leave a past situation behind so what are you going to do in this situation it's going to be your call your decision but yes i feel like you know seeking some guidance from heavens is going to be uh recommended because i feel like you know it's uh, it's very important for you to think through things before you take that final decision of your life when it comes to your love life or work life decision i mean the deck we do have the queen of cups i feel like um I feel like, you know, one person is somebody, like, you know, if it applies to your love life situation, um, one person is somebody who is, um, who is your love and the other person is somebody who has love for you. So who are you going to choose? That's the question here. And that's like, you know, that's, that's the confusion here. Who should you choose? It's going to be different for different uh, Aquarians, you know, for some of you, you would want to be with someone who loves you. For others of you, you want to be more with the person who, who you love. So it's going to be your personal choice. But yeah, let's see what is the message from your person. What is the message from your person? What is it that they want you to know? <clears throat> Justice, the tower, ten of swords. Underneath the deck, we do have the devil. Wow. I feel like, you know, um, I 
feel like you know the person that you are dealing with the one that you love um i feel like you know this person really wants you to know that um i feel like you know they know that they cannot give you the justice right now um so what they want either you move on from them that's what they want or if not then you have to be patient with this person so they really want you to know one thing um i cannot give you what you want right now so are you ready to wait for me or are you willing to move forward with your love life i feel like in you know, for majority of you your person is manifesting you not to move on that's for sure i feel like you know your person is trying to manipulate you right now uh they would be keeping you stuck on them and um that's what is happening whether you see that whether you don't but this person is trying to hold you back right now from moving forward with another person so it's going to be a very hard decision for you for some of you you might be having um some sort of uh, uh magic uh influence as well some sort of evil influence as well coming from a person here who's going to be like you know keeping you hold uh for them so yeah i really see that but uh yeah let's see what the oracle guidance says for you and especially if your person had always been like you know very controlling in this connection i feel like you know they are trying their best to keep you hanging in there for them and um yeah you might not be able to move on with this new person uh that way so let's see meditate and believe i feel like you know it's very important for you to meditate during this week time so you could make the right choice and uh, so you could uh, break free from any sort of uh, evil influence that you could be under right now as well mutual understanding is needed here i feel like you know the issue here is uh, your person deep down they are wishing and hoping that you don't move on but they are not like you know openly saying anything to you which is the reason why it's getting toxic here um so i feel like you know if if they could say it openly and honestly things would have been different um prayers will be answered so if you need uh, you know guidance around the situation pray for it affirm for it you will be given why fit in when you were born to stand out um you have to you have to know your worth here if it is meant to be it will be now it's very important for you to um make that choice for yourself like if it is meant to be with this person it will happen eventually so you don't have to worry about it uh but yes if this person is not giving into the connection right now if you put some sort of pressure on them trust me they will first of all they're going to try their best to to keep you hanging in there if they see you leaving if they see you uh, slipping away they will definitely make the effort to win your heart or to do something to keep you hanging in there again so yeah let's see some oracle cards and uh, let's see what else do we have <clears throat> last few cards for the readers so we have our card hold on <clears throat> engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment i really see you getting engaged to a new person to be honest i really feel like you know you will be getting engaged to a new person here and then this person is going to be like coming back um keeping you stuck again um now it's 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 going to get toxic i feel like for majority of you you might experience something toxic here in this connection with this person um this person uh will try to hold you uh back from moving forward first and if they see you stepping away they will start using some magic on you and if that doesn't work too then they will uh come up front and um confuse you again for some of you you might have already chosen to get engaged to a new person and then comes this person to confuse you further so yeah uh, that's pretty much it i feel like you know it's uh it's it's going to be a um burden some week for you for majority of you because i feel like you know it's a it's a lot of drama happening for you during this week time and it comes to your love life specifically so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time if it was of help do like share and subscribe to lady the next read for you guys take care bye